Hey y'all, these are the clothes that I will be donating from my nonprofit organization. However, I will still be dropping a link for anybody that want to donate. Ooh, it's been a minute, y'all. God telling me to slow it down just a little bit. Embrace the sun while I can. It's been a minute. I've been out none this week embracing his son I have a message for today um a little rant whatever you want to call it as I woke up this morning God was basically trying to tell me like before before you help others let me finish helping you and I'm like, God, I know this, this, this is my gift, like, to helping others. But sometimes when you help others, they either take away, drain you, you know, uh, you're on an assignment to complete a task. It kind of eliminates the pressure that others put on you when it comes down to helping. So I will... Oh, I see a butter. I know if people was outside or checking a camera, they probably like, what is she recording? But you know, anyway, like that really gave me a smile because I symbolize butterflies as my mom, even before she passed, I love butterflies. But anyways, back to the message. I've been in situations to where I was able to listen to God when it came down to helping others to where it didn't feel like it was taking away from my energy or my time. Cause you know, I, I value my time. Every second of the day, it, it got to count. Rather it's completing a task or just understanding that sometimes you need to rest, reset, regroup, rejuvenate before you could keep on going with the mission. Um, but a part of the plan that I, I just caught this morning for us the message is like, you know, God put some people in my life for assignments. And some of those assignments came with some tests, y'all, like for real, for real. Like some tests to where I had to literally like detach myself from them or those that after I completed the assignment, you know, and it was not as easy like it's easy to get a job done but sometimes when people see the tools that you're using to helping them they figure out well how can i find something else you need to fix how can i still need a, a part of this i'm gonna go back down this way because i have a neighbor out with his speakerphone on and it's kind of distracting me how can i keep her in the midst of my 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 tasks my duties my job without really putting a title to it or without really putting her on the schedule to getting paid for the job like you know it's 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 levels to it not only is it levels to it it's value to it some people don't appreciate this so i'm like you know and i didn't been burnt i'd have been used i'd have been abused to where god has now made it easier for me to detach in myself some people might feel like that's not good when you sitting there really taking yourself away from people that can really love you. Maybe they might be able to help you one day. Maybe, you know, it's just people that you can connect with or have a bond with, have a relationship, you know, grow with. Or maybe they might just want you to keep on pointing to them until they grow, grow, grow. And maybe they might come back around for you. Who knows? But is it a part of my assignment to stick around to figuring it out? No. No. God, God didn't make us no fool. And I ain't saying that, you know, you a fool from sticking around just to seeing like, you know, when your time going to come, when it, it's going to come. I, I honestly believe that. But at the same time. Figure out your purpose in life. Figure out is it an assignment. Figure out, figure out if, if this is something God wants you to do. Don't just stick around because the person is who they are. 
believe it or not, like I really dismissed myself from a team of people this year. And I don't feel bad about it because they didn't value my time. They didn't appreciate my worth. I don't want to get connected to people like that. I want to be able to help people that one, I might not even, I don't even have to see you another time. I don't even have to hear that I helped you. I don't even really want to know the people. I just want to be able to help get the mission and get the, the task done, figure out what it is for us the assignment, getting it done and be done with it and move on to the next task. I don't want to keep repeating cycles to trying to help people that don't value my time it's a difference when people know you and you helping versus it's a difference when people uh receiving the help from you that they don't even know you they just coming to you for that help and they they receiving it as you give it to them and they 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 run with it that's me i ain't gonna keep on well using and abusing so i say all this to say that god told me i could still help those it starts within me. It starts within me. What does that mean? Well, I have a non-profit. I have a non-profit that I just been sitting on. And it's not about me building a team to uh, a board members to try to help complete the test or the missions or the assignments that God trying to tell me to being able to still help people that Maybe I know, maybe I don't know, but maybe like, you know, they can come to me for whatever services that I'm providing and offering and they, they moving on about their way or day. It's a difference. So I say all this to say that the message that I received today was in order for it to come off the ground, it starts within you. So my website, I'm not... I'm not on lives and Facebooks, and I ain't knocking it. I'm not knocking people that do, but I'm not asking for cash out payments because I'm prophesizing over your life. I'm trying to help you with something, and I'm, you know, giving it out for free by joining a live, but begging or asking or, like, looking for something in return. If I catch a live... It's because God has given me that assignment to doing it. Like, it's a purpose to it. It's a reason to it. Without me actually holding my hand out or, you know. So, I say all this to say that nonprofit on my website, it has a donation link. So, that's a part of my mission and my assignment. That God is telling me to use it. And if anyone wants to donate into my ministry on um, my nonprofit, that's what the, that website is for. It's not just for booking purposes with life coaching, um, business or personal um, things that, you know, you need you need me to help you, you know, by leading you to the task of getting your things done. No, it's, it's also for those that want to quickly um, donate. And I will be able to still use that to being able to help others. That's my way of giving back. That's my purpose within the mission that God has, you know, put me on for. I'm asking myself, like, God, what do you want me to do with this nonprofit? God, what is you telling me about the, the donate or my website? You know, I don't have too many bookings. I don't have too many people, like, really reaching out to me. But it starts within me. So I say all this to say I actually pulled some stuff out my attic. And I will be... Um, making a post basically saying that I have some stuff to donate into anyone that's in need um, for us baby clothes, school clothes, um, you know, and anybody would that want to use my, my website to donate and for me to be able to ship out to whoever. I'm sure it's going to be multiple people that might be in need. You could private message me. Don't be afraid to reach out if you need. I'm transparent, baby. I done been in them lines for free school supplies. I done been in the lines for free food. I done been in the line for people to help me, the resources to help pay bills. I done been in all the lines. I done had to hit more than one line when it came down to Christmas stuff. Like, it is what it is. That's my mama's favorite word. She would, it, it is what it is. You have to sometimes do what you have to do. 
So I say all this to say that I'm holding on to things. As I was upstairs looking for my uh, mouse, my wireless mouse to my computer, old, something old that I felt like I could pull out. God told me, pull out these old clothes. You looking for something that's gonna connect to your computer. Find these clothes so you will be able to help connect and reach out to those that, that's really needing your services um, or needing that help that you're offering. And it's not going to just come from you. It's coming from my nonprofit. My nonprofit purpose behind pain is deeper than me. Purpose behind pain leadership is deeper than me. I'm trying to lead the way for people like me. People that have been through certain things like me. People that has a story to tell that's ready to tell pieces of their story to help another person along with me. I don't, I don't hide behind the cameras. or I don't hide behind tough skin all the time. I'm learning to be vulnerable. I'm learning to open up. I'm learning to be transparent. I'm learning to showing you that I don't always have it easy. It's days I cry, break down, I'm overwhelmed some days. Certain things and certain people has broken me to where it's certain things on the inside that used to make me feel weak and certain things that would still trigger me. But I've learned to detach myself from people like that that doesn't value me. So I say all this to say it doesn't stop within me. It, I, but it starts within me. So the first thought of my nonprofit donation would be to present some clothes, some gently used clothes. It smells good. It still looks good. I would clean, um, we'll go through the stuff over the weekend um, and see whoever it is that's needing. I drop the sizes. And if anyone wants to go to my website, I'm going to drop that link. That's a way to donate um and sponsor the movement the the i'm leading the way um that's the way to being able to you know donate to being able to help me help others i'm not on lives trying to prophesy over nobody's life and then feel like at the end of my life god is telling me to use numbers or using you to helping me that's not what i want to do and i'm not knocking nobody else's hustle because church is a hustle. Bis that's a business. Um, just, you know, it's, it's deeper than that. And I don't even want to speak on it because, again, I don't want to knock nobody else's ways they making it. But at the end of the day, I'm just different. If I connect with you, that is a, a gift of mine to being able to minister into you, being able to help push you to the next level, being able to help give you the vision that you might not even be able to see that's prophecy that's prophecy right there but i don't use my gifts and abuse them so if you connect with me it'll be for a good reason you just have to see what is your reason what is your purpose what is it god is telling you within this season i'm about to go in and walk into the blessings that god has for me um which is these kids in here homeschooling and just i'm about to be clocking in soon so yeah i wanted to get some fresh air i know i'm away from the camera because i think that this neighbor of mine he just distracted me for today but i did not give up i kept on going and even if you hear the background i'm sorry but sometimes you have to weed out the distractions and keep it moving that's the message for the day again if you want to sponsor if you want to donate um if you want to partner with my nonprofit to really allow me to get things moving and rolling before the new years do that reach out to me purpose behind pain leadership is deeper than that you, you have a purpose behind your pain you just have to find out what god is trying to lead you into sometimes it takes people to help you lead into or walk through whatever it is that god is telling you sometimes people block your blessings and i'm i'm easily able to curve things like that don't let nothing disturb you remove negative energy to positive have a good day talk to y'all later